Cancer is a very scary word and sometimes the fear itself could lead to cancer. So let's be a little less concerned about it, although we know that environmental factors, nutritional factors play a very important role in cancer development. The authorities usually are the oncologists or other cancer researchers and doctors who are benefiting from the medical industrial complex and the status quo. And the war on cancer that's been declared in the 70s has been largely lost because almost all the money goes into tweaking toxic drugs instead of addressing the actual causes for cancer. And we won't get right now into all the different possible causes and how we can address those and improve our chances to avoid cancer in the future. Um, but the most important thing is, first, live a healthy lifestyle. And that means listening to the information that we have in our teleseminars and in our other products that explain how you live a healthy lifestyle so you can be reducing your chances for cancer. But then if you already have concerns and you have family history or you have friends who have cancer, if you, are, you have your own medical history of cancer or if you have other risk factors, then you can do some tests that are available nowadays like the AMAS test, that's A-M-A-S test. And uh, we have two articles about it in our website so you can read about that more in, in depth. But that cancer test, which is a simple blood test, can tell you up to five years in advance if you are developing cancer and you can catch it so early that you can even reverse it or reverse the trend towards it much much uh, easily, much more easily than if it, if it is caught in a much more advanced stage. If you catch things early you don't need to rely on radiation which is very damaging to the tissues or on chemo which destroys a lot of things in your body that actually accelerates cancer development in the future and you don't have to rely on surgery which is also very traumatizing. In some cases surgery is a good idea I will not say that it isn't because it can save lives but in the vast majority of cases if you diagnose cancer much earlier by doing the AMAS test or by doing digital infrared thermography instead of mammograms you can actually discover cancer so much earlier and reduce the chances of it coming back if you already had it in the past and you don't have to wait until tumor markers and other current diagnostic methods like biopsies but especially the tumor markers which will only show you cancer when it is really too advanced and too late to be treated in a fair way to your body in a dignified way then you don't want to rely on those you have to do other tests like the AMAS test and other tests that are described in our teleseminar about cancer